Wicked Whimsy, the Philosophical Cauldron of Witchcraft. Embark on a whimsical adventure where philosophy and witchcraft entwine in Wicked Whimsy, the Philosophical Cauldron of Witchcraft. This enchanting volume invites readers to stir the cauldron of intellectual curiosity, exploring the historical alchemy of potions, the metaphysical flights of broomsticks, and the moral conundrums of hexes. With a mischievous blend of humor and insight, each chapter unveils the magical secrets woven into pop culture, from Bewitched to Harry Potter. As the final page turns, Wicked Whimsy leaves behind a potion of laughter and contemplation, inviting readers to don the crooked hat of curiosity and revel in the philosophical delights hidden within its bewitching pages. Introduction Brewing Up a Philosophical Storm Welcome, dear reader to the mystical realm where the cauldron of philosophy meets the bubbling brew of witchcraft. In this enchanting volume, we embark on a whimsical journey through the murky depths of potions, the ethereal skies on broomstick back, and the perplexing world of hexes and curses, all viewed through the mischievous lens of philosophy. Now, before you start donning pointy hats or searching for eye of newt in your spice cabinet, let's set the stage for this peculiar adventure. Wicked Whimsy, The Philosophical Cauldron of Witchcraft is not your typical spellbook. No, we won't teach you how to turn your neighbor into a toad or summon a thunderstorm just in time for your ex's wedding. Instead, we invite you to stir the cauldron of your mind, where the brew consists of equal parts wisdom and humor. This isn't a guide to witchcraft, it's a celebration of the peculiar marriage between witchy wonders and profound philosophical inquiry. We won't be handing out magic wands but we promise to offer you a spellbinding array of ideas that will leave you cackling with intellectual delight. Picture this, a world where broomsticks are more than just tools for sweeping, potions transcend the boundaries of mere liquids, and black cats are not just harbingers of bad luck, but philosophical muses in their own right. We'll dive into the cauldron of existence, stir the pot of moral dilemmas, and explore the metaphysical mysteries that linger in the corners of the witch's lair. Now, a word of caution, this is not a serious treatise on the occult. Instead, it's a philosophical carnival, a merry-go-round of ideas where the witch's hat is always a bit crooked, and the cackles are as contagious as a well-crafted incantation. So, fasten your seatbelts on your broomsticks, dear reader, as we soar through the skies of philosophy, guided by the light of a mischievous moon. Wicked whimsy awaits, where the only spells cast are those of laughter, and the only curses are the ones that break the chains of rigid thinking. Let the philosophical revelry begin. Chapter 1 Potions and Notions Once upon a moonlit night, in a world where the air was thick with the scent of herbs and the sound of bubbling cauldrons, we find ourselves knee-deep in the magical world of potions. But fear not, dear reader, for this isn't a mere recipe book, it's a philosophical expedition into the alchemical wonders that stir the cauldron of existence. Historical Potions, An Alchemical Expedition into Witchy Brews our journey commences with a stroll down the ancient halls of potion-making, where wizards and witches of your brood elixirs that could make the heart race or the mind expand. From love potions that might stir a romance or two to healing concoctions that could mend both body and soul, history's cauldron is brimming with tales of mystical mixtures. As we traverse this historical landscape, we'll ponder the philosophical underpinnings of these elixirs. What does it mean to concoct a potion that alters perception? Are we not, in essence, brewing the very essence of reality in our cauldrons? Prepare to question the nature of reality and existence as we sip from the cup of philosophical curiosity. The Metaphysics of Potion Brewing, Stirring the Cauldron of Existence What does it mean to stir a cauldron, to blend ingredients until they become something entirely new? Is this not a metaphor for the human experience, where we mix the elements of our lives to create a unique concoction of existence? In this section, we delve into the metaphysical implications of potion brewing, exploring the parallels between the alchemist's art and the human journey, from the transformative nature of a sip of polyjuice potion to the introspective qualities of a draft of wisdom, we'll explore how potion-making serves as a metaphor for the philosophical quest to understand the self. Grab your ladle, dear reader, for we're about to stir the cauldron of existence and see what bubbles to the surface. Philosophical Hangovers, Deconstructing the Morning After Concoctions As any seasoned potion maker knows, every elixir comes with consequences. 
whether it's a love potion gone awry or a truth serum revealing more than intended, the aftermath of potion brewing raises profound questions about responsibility, ethics, and the nature of unintended consequences. Join us as we navigate the treacherous waters of philosophical hangovers. What happens when our philosophical musings lead us down unexpected paths? Can we truly predict the outcome of our intellectual concoctions? As we explore these questions, be prepared for a few laughs, a sprinkle of wisdom, and perhaps a potion or two that might leave you questioning your own philosophical sobriety. So, dear reader, grab your mortar and pestle, dust off your spellbook of skepticism, and let's embark on this wild ride through the intoxicating world of potions and notions. The cauldron awaits, and the philosophical brew is about to bubble over. Chapter 2 The Broomstick of Existence as we twirl our philosophical hats and sweep through the pages of our witchy wisdom, we come to a crucial chapter in our magical journey, Chapter 2, The Broomstick of Existence. Fasten your seat belts, or broomstick belts, if you will, for we're about to soar into the ethereal skies on broomstick back, unraveling the mysteries that hover between the clouds of philosophy and the cobwebs of the witch's lair. Flying High, A Metaphysical Examination of Broomstick Writing Ah, the broomstick more than just a trusty tool for tidying up a witch's abode. It's a vehicle of transcendence, lifting us above the mundane and into the rarefied air of philosophical inquiry. In this section, we'll explore the heights and depths of broomstick flight, asking questions that reach beyond the clouds and touch the very fabric of existence. Is flying on a broomstick a mere escape from reality, or is it a metaphor for the human yearning to break free from the chains of earthly constraints? Join us as we take a leap, or rather, a flight, into the metaphysical unknown, exploring the exhilarating highs and inevitable lows of broomstick existence. Broomstick is symbol, unraveling the threads of power. Beyond its physical form, the broomstick is a symbol, a potent one that weaves through the tapestry of folklore, mythology, and the collective unconscious. What power does the broomstick hold as a symbol? and how does its significance transform in the cauldron of philosophical interpretation? From the broomstick as a phallic symbol to its role in feminist discourse, we'll unravel the threads of power woven into the broomstick's bristles. Prepare for a whimsical exploration of the symbolic layers that lift the broomstick beyond its humble origins and into the philosophical stratosphere. Levitation or Liberation? The Gravity of Philosophical Questions as we levitate on the broomstick of existence, we'll confront the gravitational forces that anchor us to reality. Is flight a pursuit of escapism, or does it signify a deeper, existential liberation? We'll grapple with the weighty philosophical questions that arise when broomsticks defy gravity and challenge the very foundations of our understanding. Through levity and gravity, humor and introspection, we'll navigate the celestial currents of broomstick philosophy. So, dear reader, saddle up, hold tight, and let the broomstick of existence carry us into the lofty realms where witches, wizards, and philosophical ponderings take flight. Stay tuned for the next enchanting installment as we continue our expedition through the mystical landscape of Wicked Whimsy, the philosophical cauldron of witchcraft. The broomstick awaits, and the philosophical skies beckon us onward. Chapter 3, Hex and the City Welcome, dear reader to a spellbinding chapter where the witches don their philosophical robes, and the cauldron of inquiry bubbles with ethically charged elixirs. In Chapter 3, Hex and the City, we dive headfirst into the world of curses, spells, and the profound ethical dilemmas that linger in the mystical air. Curses, Spells, and Ethical Dilemmas, A Moral Inquiry In the dark alleyways of witchcraft, where hexes and curses are whispered like secrets, we find ourselves face to face with moral conundrums that would give even Socrates pause. Are all curses inherently wicked, or do they hold the potential for justice and balance? Join us as we navigate the labyrinth of ethical choices, questioning the very nature of good and evil in the magical realm. What happens when a witch decides to use her powers for vengeance? Is revenge an inherently dark act, or does it play a role in the cosmic dance of justice? Through philosophical incantations, we'll explore the moral landscape of curses and spells, shedding light on the shadowy corners where ethics and enchantment intersect. The Art of Hexing, an Aesthetic Exploration Hexes, like strokes on a canvas, paint the tapestry of magical existence. But can a curse be beautiful? 
Is there an aesthetic to hexing, a dark artistry that transcends the boundaries of morality? In this section, we'll delve into the artistic dimensions of witchcraft, exploring the ways in which hexes can be both terrifying and strangely captivating. From the visual allure of ancient symbols to the poetic cadence of incantations, we'll embark on an aesthetic journey through the hexed cityscape. Join us in contemplating the eerie beauty that lurks within the shadows, where the brushstrokes of curses create a masterpiece of both dread and fascination. Witchy Justice, Retribution or Redemption? In the courthouse of the witching world, justice wears a pointed hat and wields a wand. But what does justice mean in a realm where hexes and spells are the tools of the trade? Is it about retribution, balancing the scales of magical karma, or does it extend an olive branch toward redemption and transformation? As we navigate the labyrinth of witchy justice, we'll confront the philosophical implications of punishment and redemption. Can a cursed soul find salvation, or are they forever condemned to the dark corners of the magical realm? Through laughter and contemplation, we'll seek answers in the cauldron of ethical inquiry. So, dear reader, prepare to be bewitched by the philosophical quandaries that arise when morality and magic collide. The city of hexes awaits, and in its twisted streets, we may just discover the elusive balance between the light and shadow of the enchanted path. Stay enchanted, stay philosophical, and let the wicked whimsy of Chapter 3 cast its spell upon your intellectual wanderings. The cauldron simmers, and the pages turn, revealing more secrets and laughter in the mystical journey that is wicked whimsy, the philosophical cauldron of witchcraft. Chapter 4, Cauldrons and Conundrums Gather around, dear readers, as we stir the cauldron of philosophical inquiry in Chapter 4 of our mystical journey, aptly titled Cauldrons and Conundrums. Within the billowing steam and aromatic concoctions, we delve into the heart of self-reflection, existential pondering, and the alchemy of understanding. Philosophical Stirring, The Alchemy of Self-Reflection The cauldron, that mystical vessel of transformation, becomes a metaphor for the crucible of self-discovery. In this section, we ask, what happens when we stir the cauldron of our own existence? How do the ingredients of our thoughts, experiences, and reflections meld to create the elixir of selfhood? Prepare to be immersed in the bubbling brew of introspection as we explore the alchemy of self-reflection. Through the haze of philosophical steam, we'll uncover the transformative power that lies in the depths of our own cauldron of consciousness. Double, double, toil, and trouble, existential angst in the cauldron. Shakespearean witches may have muttered these words but the existential angst they embody is not confined to Macbeth's castle. We'll venture into the cauldron of existential uncertainty, where questions about meaning, purpose, and the nature of reality simmer and stew. Why are we here, stirring the cauldron of existence? Is life a cosmic comedy or a tragic drama? Through witty banter and profound musings, we'll navigate the troubled waters of existentialism, finding humor in the toil and trouble that accompany our philosophical quest. Soup for the Soul, a recipe for philosophical enlightenment. In the heart of the witch's kitchen, where cauldrons bubble and broomsticks rest, we find the transformative power of philosophical enlightenment. What ingredients constitute the soul nourishing soup that brings clarity and understanding to our intellectual palate? Join us as we concoct a recipe for philosophical enlightenment, blending humor, insight, and a dash of magical whimsy. From the aroma of ancient wisdom to the taste of laughter, we'll explore the culinary delights that await those who dare to sup from the cauldron of profound thought. As we journey deeper into the cauldrons and conundrums of wicked whimsy, let the alchemy of laughter and contemplation swirl around you. The brew is rich, the cauldron is alive, and the philosophical feast is about to unfold. Stay enchanted, stay philosophical, and let the magic of chapter 4 cast its spell upon your intellect. The cauldron simmers, and the pages turn, revealing more secrets and laughter in the whimsical odyssey of wicked whimsy, the philosophical cauldron of witchcraft. Chapter 5, The Familiar Paradox In the mystical dance of philosophy and witchcraft, we arrive at Chapter 5, where we unravel the enigma of familiars, those magical companions that scamper through the shadows and purr their way into our hearts. Join us in The Familiar Paradox as we explore the philosophical menagerie and the metaphysical bonds that bind witches and their furry, feathery, or scaly allies. Animal Companions, A Philosophical Menagerie 
witches and their familiars share a bond that transcends the ordinary, a connection that stretches across realms of magic and philosophy alike. In this section, we'll embark on a whimsical journey through the philosophical menagerie, exploring the significance of animals as companions, muses, and confidants in the witching world. Are these creatures mere pets, or do they serve as conduits to deeper philosophical truths? From the wisdom of owls to the mischief of ravens, we'll traverse the magical landscape of animal companionship, contemplating the metaphysical significance of these furry and feathered friends. Beyond beasts, the metaphysics of familiar bonds. What happens when a witch and her familiar form a bond that transcends the material and enters the realm of the metaphysical? In this section, we'll peel back the layers of the familiar paradox, pondering the nature of connection, empathy, and shared consciousness between witches and their mystical companions. Through the cauldron of metaphysics, we'll explore the idea that familiars are not just pets but spiritual allies, collaborators in the grand tapestry of existence. How does the bond between a witch and her familiar illuminate the interconnectedness of all things? Join us as we contemplate the deeper meaning behind the familiar paradox. Are black cats really bad luck? A humorous interlude. The superstition surrounding black cats has persisted for centuries, casting shadows of suspicion over these sleek and mysterious creatures. But are they truly harbingers of bad luck, or is there a deeper, more humorous truth to be uncovered? In this light-hearted interlude, we'll lift the veil on the black cat myth and explore the comical twists that have woven their way into the fabric of folklore. Prepare for laughter and revelation as we debunk the superstitions surrounding our feline friends, revealing the absurdity that often lurks beneath the surface of seemingly ominous beliefs. As we navigate the familiar paradox, let the laughter of witches and their companions echo through the pages. The menagerie awaits, and in the philosophical embrace of Chapter 5, we'll uncover the secrets that dance between witches and their magical familiars. Stay enchanted, stay philosophical and let the magic of the familiar paradox weave its spell upon your intellect. The cauldron simmers, and the pages turn, revealing more secrets and laughter in the whimsical journey of Wicked Whimsy, the philosophical cauldron of witchcraft. Chapter 6, Witchcraft in Pop Culture In the final act of our philosophical carnival, we venture into the realms of popular culture, where the broomstick meets the silver screen and the cauldron of creativity bubbles with both laughter and reflection. Welcome to Chapter 6, Witchcraft in Pop Culture, where we don our 3D glasses and peer through the foggy mists of cinematic enchantment. From Bewitched to Harry Potter, Philosophical Analysis of Cultural Representations As we flick our wands and conjure the images of witches past and present, we'll embark on a cinematic journey through the magical lens of pop culture. From the twitching noses of Samantha in Bewitched to the wand-waving spectacle of Harry Potter, we'll unravel the philosophical threads woven into the fabric of these cultural representations. How do these portrayals shape our understanding of witchcraft? What hidden wisdom lies beneath the whimsy of special effects and spellbinding narratives? Through the looking glass of pop culture, we'll explore the philosophical nuances that enchant and entertain. The Witch in Media, an Examination of Stereotypes and Archetypes in this section, we don our detective hats and magnifying glasses to scrutinize the portrayal of witches in media. Are these representations mere stereotypes, perpetuating old myths and misconceptions, or do they serve as archetypes that reflect deeper aspects of the human psyche? Join us in unpacking the baggage carried by witches in film, television, and literature. Are they sinister crones or powerful symbols of feminine strength? Through philosophical analysis, We'll delve into the cultural cauldron that shapes our perceptions of witches and their craft. The Witch's Cultural Critique, Laughing at Ourselves Through the Cauldron of Fiction In the grand finale of our journey, we confront a paradoxical truth. While witches may be fantastical figures, the themes they embody often serve as mirrors to our own humanity. How does the witch act as a cultural critique, reflecting our fears, desires, and societal norms? Through humor and introspection, we'll explore the ways in which witches, as fictional beings, hold a distorted mirror to our own existence. Is there wisdom to be found in the laughter that echoes through the cauldron of fiction? Join us as we bid farewell to broomsticks and cauldrons, leaving behind a trail of philosophical stardust. As we close the spellbook on Wicked Whimsy, 
the philosophical cauldron of witchcraft, let the laughter linger and the wisdom resonate. The broomstick may land, and the cauldron may settle, but the magic of philosophy and witchcraft lives on in the echoes of our whimsical journey. Stay enchanted, stay philosophical, and may your intellectual broomstick continue to soar through the skies of curiosity. The final pages turn, and as the curtain falls, we bid you farewell from the mystical realms of wicked whimsy. Conclusion, Brewing Wisdom in the Cauldron of Laughter Dear reader, as we close the ancient tome of wicked whimsy, the philosophical cauldron of witchcraft, let us take a moment to stir the final thoughts in this bubbling cauldron of laughter and enlightenment. Our journey through the mystical landscapes of potions, broomsticks, hexes, and familiars has been nothing short of a whimsical adventure. We've traversed the philosophical skies on broomstick back, navigated the ethereal mists of existential angst, and danced with the paradoxes of familiars and witches. Now, as we bid adieu to the magical carnival, we find ourselves at the crossroads of wisdom and mirth. Throughout our philosophical escapade, we've sought not to provide answers, but to pose questions that dance like fireflies in the moonlit night. In the alchemical process of laughter and contemplation, we've brewed a potion that transcends the ordinary, inviting you to partake in the feast of intellectual curiosity. Reflecting on the Philosophical Odyssey Take a moment to stir the cauldron of your own thoughts. What mysteries have you unraveled? What spells of understanding have you woven into the tapestry of your consciousness? In the reflective glow of your philosophical fire, consider the alchemy of ideas that has transformed your perspective on witchcraft, philosophy, and the delightful interplay between the two. The Cauldron of Laughter and Wisdom Laughter, like a magic spell, has the power to break the chains of seriousness and open the gates to profound insight. In our exploration of witchcraft, we've discovered that wisdom need not wear a stern face, but can emerge from the cauldron of humor, where the absurd and the profound waltz in a merry dance. As you close this book, carry with you the potion of laughter and wisdom. Let it be a talisman against the mundane, a broomstick to soar above the trivial, and a familiar companion on your intellectual journey. The witch's hat never loses its crook. In the grand tradition of witches and wizards, Remember that the philosopher's hat, like the witch's hat, need not sit straight and prim atop your head. Let it cock to one side in a rebellious tilt, embracing the crookedness of curiosity and the mischievous spirit of inquiry, until our broomsticks cross again. Dear reader, as you step away from the cauldron and embark on your own magical adventures, know that the pages of wicked whimsy will linger in the air like a spell awaiting your return. Whether you find yourself in the bustling streets of the mundane or the hidden corners of the fantastical, may your broomstick always be at your side, and the cauldron of wisdom and laughter forever bubbling. Until our broomsticks cross again in the realms of intellectual merriment, stay enchanted, stay philosophical, and may the echoes of laughter guide you through the shadows and into the light. Farewell, fellow seeker of whimsy, and may your journey through the magical and philosophical continue to be wickedly delightful.